Hello again, I am Blunty talking about PC gaming stuff again. I wasn't planning to talk about PC gaming stuff again this soon. I just did two huge long rambling videos like last week about the PC gaming rig I'm planning to build. The first time I've actually built a PC gaming rig in about a decade. What I want to make this video about is, is because AMD have now made the announcements. They've got their new R7 and R9 lines, most of which are rebrands. So they're the same old cards, but with improvements that, you know, uh, what they've learned through manufacturing the older ones that you know they're a bit faster and they've, they've, they've they're, they're clocked a bit higher and they've got a bit you know different cooling and different you know we don't know exactly what they've done yet but they're basically the old cards with new clothes on but apparently the you know they've still got performance increases and they're still you know they, they'll be dx12 compatible and, and all that good stuff that you want but the big news is of course they're new cards based on new hardware with new cpus and new tricks fury cards the fury x and just the regular fury um and cool name or something well is it a cool name you tell me i think it's cool fury it just sounds you know I'm, I'm sure the marketing department spent weeks and weeks and weeks in committee meetings deciding on the coolest name to call their new card but point is the newest punchiest fury x card uh it comes with water cooling as stock and comes with water cooling that is so overcranked it is almost uh, twice uh, as as much cooling as is needed for the card. The card is generates about 250 watts of heat. Apparently, the cooler that comes with it can can dissipate 500 watts worth of heat. So it's made to be overclocked. Um, there are no benchmarks floating around yet, or well, no official ones from sources you can trust. But people are sort of guesstimating that it should at least go punch for punch with the 980 Ti. Um, and, and you know the top end nvidia cards and maybe even the titan x which is another brilliant marketing committee name but the point of this video i'm getting to it eventually is uh on monday i think it's monday let me check my calendar monday or tuesday monday or tuesday monday or tuesday monday monday i am going to a local amd event where i will presumably get hands-on with these cards in some physical way maybe they'll even have game demos actually running which is something that was infuriating me about the e3 thing they went on the pc gamer stage uh, uh, twice and they never showed a single frame of a game actually running on these new cards no they didn't do it in their own thing either i don't think but so maybe i'll even be able to play a game on one of these new cards or, or, or two hopefully fingers crossed because you know that's what actually matters at the end of the day does it play a game really well so hopefully i'll be able to do that but i will be able to ask the amd people because there will be people from amd there it's not just the local pr people there will be proper amd people and i think one of the guys there is the 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 lead game well, let me get the form thing here we go official invitation it will, <laughs> one of the guests will be amd's chief gaming scientist <laughs> wouldn't you love to have that on your on your business card i'm the chief gaming scientist for amd how do you do um it's uh, richard hudley huddy 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 richard huddy and i think he was one of the guys who went on stage at some point at one of the e3 conferences too i do remember someone going on stage at one point at the pc conference and going i'm the chief gaming scientist they might have more than one i don't know i didn't really catch that guy's name but anyway this guy richard he'll be there so i will have an opportunity to talk directly to amd people and ask them questions pointed questions specific questions about the cards their performance their attitude towards making these things why they did a, a rebrand instead of doing a complete fresh line of everything the difference that is going to be made between these new fiji based uh, fury cards and the older hawaii hawaii based chips and everything and so point of this video is here is your opportunity to leave questions that i should be asking because i have been out of the pc gaming loop for a little while now i haven't paid that much attention to it. like i said i did have a gaming pc laptop and everything but course you can't change components in the laptop so i never bothered really with keeping up with everything that was going on i mean it did the job i wanted it to do and it did it fine for many years until it imploded and died and, and made my life horrible but also gave me the opportunity to build my own pc which is great and fantastic and exciting but the point is point is i haven't been keeping up with these things as as well as you know you guys have been living and breathing pc gaming might have been so you are the guys who are going to give me the good questions to ask you are the guys who, who are going to give to me the questions i should be asking not the ones i think i should be asking but the ones you guys actually want to know about when it comes to these friggin' new cards so boom drop your comments i will look at them i will take notes of them i will write them down on and on, on paper if i have to actually i'll probably just put them on my phone and go hey 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 chief gaming scientist look at what people want to know can you tell me this stuff 
And he'll go, well, we can't comment on that yet, but, and PR answer. But I'm going to try. You know how these media things go. Sometimes you get straight answers, sometimes you don't. But I'm going to try. I'm going to do it for you guys, and you've got to tell me what you want to know. And don't be douchebags and ask douchebaggy kinds of questions that, you know, will, will get me looked at like a, like a rude shithead, and, and we'll never get a straight answer out of him anyway. You know, ask reasonable questions, questions that are relevant, questions that this guy will be able to address in a public format. <laughs> Again, there's a, there's a lot of um, media PR kind of hoops to jump through when it comes. Oh, I forgot to mute my phone before I started recording. Anyway, that should be my cue to stop this video because I've been rambling too long. I'll probably edit this video way down. Just so you know, there's the uh, the raw recording of this video is 11 minutes now. Hopefully, I'm going to get it down to like four minutes because there's a lot of stuff in the middle there I shouldn't have bothered about whatsoever. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I am Blunty, and I will catch you next time. Boom. Flood the comments, everything you would could possibly want to know about AMD's new graphics cards. Well, new graphics cards and new graphics cards, because there's two different types of new we're talking about here. <laughs>